Whack, whack, whack. And it comes up. I think I got a bra. Oh no! Oh no! Oh! That's a G string, isn't it? Oh, Wayne's checking that out. I'm going to uh, rig up a finesse rod. Ready for the flat. Oh, leader. Take me to the leader. V hard four. Should I go for? Silly string? Mm. Nah, not today. Six. Oh no. Oh, Big fish. Yeah, a bit job. It was dead on what I was saying. I said, if you get the little fish on that blade, there'll, there'll be big fish around it. Like you need, you need all the crap. You need the flatties, the whiting. Flatty. Yeah, it would have been a big flatty. He wasn't running. You sit there, you shaking. You got any black blades or any stripe pro? Oh, I've got stripe pro, but I don't want to use them today. No, I've got a stack at the shop. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That was, that was on a cookie blade. I'm thinking I might go to a blade in a minute and just start working a bit quicker. I jagged him. <laughs> How'd I do that? Just jagged the mullet. I knew someone was chasing it. Wouldn't it be funny if, if uh, whatever was chasing them? Locked them. Oh, one, you wish we brought a bigger rod. <laughs> that would be fun. Sorry, buddy. Mm. Someone wants them, though. I'm going to turn back around and go up that flat. I think there could be some nice brims sitting under these mullet, but the mullet are heading to the flats. I've got a flathead on, a little flathead. Scaving under the mullet. Oh, we got a flathead rag today? We got a flathead rag? Oh, it should be in that. This one? Yeah. If not, I'll just use the flano. Fresh one. Steal another one of Dye's tea towels. Hey? Did you steal another one of Dye's tea towels? No, no. Tell the truth. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's a good idea. There's no shortage of flathead in here. I'll go up the flat do what I wanted to do. I just got carried away. I thought there might have been salmon or kingies or something busting in them. Big flathead. He's just shaking his head. Head shake, head shake. Yeah. blades on it, I don't want to lose it. I was low on the blade. Show yourself. Yeah. Oh, what is it? Oh, it's a... Oh. It's one of those big whiting. Oh. Told you that they were in here. But that's the, that's the ingredient. There might be some good brim up on this flat yet because you had the, the little crap fish. We've got the mullet in here. And we got the uh, good flathead in here, and now we got the good whiting. Look at that for a whiting. Oh, I lost my blade. They're stonkers, aren't they? Stonker fish. Okay, here's a tip: when I fish blades, I go for a really soft rod. So this thing here is like a like a stick of noodle, like a noodle stick. I find it's more forgiving. You can work that lure a lot quicker and you, you're still keeping it in contact with the bottom. You're not, so I'll be shaking it. Give it a few hops. It's real sensitive. More shakes. I 
that shaking that I'm doing, it's just to attract them to the lure. And the hops is to get them to follow it. And then at the end there, one lift, like the high rod there, it's just to check to see if they're, they're there. Just lift, check. And then go through the process again. I think people realise how aggressive you can fish these blades and, and how slow you can pause them for. Whiting were out wide. I'll go in first and then go back out. Tangled. That's one frustrating thing about blades is you do get a lot of tanks. But these soft rods are so forgiving. But even the tangles just seem to be less, so a lot of them just shake out. Turn this camera off, we'll get clunked. Now that whiting was right on the edge of the drop off. Oh, there's a cross drop off here. So I'll just go up about 100 yards and just see if there's brim behind them. The only reason I work a blade is to cover distance, but to cover a lot of water, quick. Get nice long cast. I'll run one across here now. Then the next one will be up here, and then across here. Then I'll move up and do it again. But so far, we haven't come across any brimskis in here. Give it five more minutes, mate. There's one. There's one. I think he's real big. Come to the top. Oh, not yet. So we're looking for schoolfish early. I don't even think it's a bream. He's never whiting. Yeah, never whiting. Sort of having such a successful start to the morning sort of really wrecked us in uh, what we're going to do because we'd normally be staying there and, and taking out the fish. So this is good in some ways because it eliminates other water I was thinking about. See, that's been one real big whiting and a nice whiting. It could have been run real big brim and a nice brim. Oh, come on, mate. Come on, buddy. Don't. You just want to be like that, don't you? I just don't want to get a hook in my hand today. That's right. Come on, see you, buddy. I just got a real good whack on that one. Still think they're whiting. Ah, oh, and again. But say so I want to rip these trackies off them that hot, but it's this is too intense. really good session for a while I haven't been in any boats so oh this is another crazy crazy whiting hey we're going nuts today fishing with an old akuma reel I got it's a beautiful reel but it's got still got the old washer drags yeah it's another big whiting 
So I can't get a happy medium on the drag set, but who cares? This is fun. He had three goes that Whitey. Another big one. This be a how to catch Whitey video. Look at them. They're really aggressive. One of the best tips I can give you is when you get that whack, like that dunk, and you're missing, you, that's when you start to work lure. Start shaking it in the bottom, little hops, shake it, little hop, pause, shake it. And you'll see that that fish come back three times to get him. That one was bigger than that, believe it or not, Wayne. What good fish, are they? Look at that. No. Well, that's the other thing about blades. People say to me what, they want good whiting lures, and I just think, well, blades, blades. It's, we, we get so many results with these blades on these big girls. And that, see how it's been feeding on the bottom? See the stuff coming out of it? There's a stick coming out of that, look. Look at that. That's a piece of fish or something. But that, see the mud? That means it's feeding on the bottom. And uh, hence blades. That's why we use the blades. You will get them on all sorts of lures in here, but that's just so productive that. Yeah, well today the whiting are hiding under the mullet, not the brim. You see? I think that's why I want to keep going into the shallows. I think they might be behind them. But if you notice here with my hand and wrist, the whole technique of blade fishing is in that wrist. See how the elbow is solid and I'm just shaking that and then just little wrist tops and that stops you like you what you don't want to do is that just ripping it up it is a, it is a technique like you can lift rip up like that drop but this style here is really if you want to catch whitey it's these little repetitive yeah there you go see I went, I went from the big lift to a little couple shakes and I'm straight away I was on and uh, oh, dropped him. That's how you catch whiting on blades. You just little tiny repetitive. It, it almost it's like rat a tat tat sends them crazy. Sends them absolutely crazy. So we'll go back out there again. He was coming into me, but he was felt like another nice whiting. And I, I'm adamant, like could be whiting here today. It's probably be full of brim tomorrow. You know. Uh, see a little hop, 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 stop. See that little shaky shake. Keep it on the bottom. Single lift, drop. There. Oh, missed him. See how I used my elbow then? I just blew that fish. Impatient. I should have should have continued with the hop. I just thought he was on. Now I'm going to do rapid fire. Lift. Hold, check, shake. Right, this is the thing I like about the blade fishing is it's continual work with your hands. You know, it's got quite a bit of skill to, to be patient with a technique and keep working it, but uh, when you get it right, I think out of the last five or six casts, I've caught four or three whiting and dropped one. Nothing on this go, but... We'll wind in, go back out. When I used to bait fish with whiting, I used to like the big, the big eight, nine foot river rods. It's re really soft rod. And when I blade fish with whiting, same deal, same sort of rod. Try and get one more, and then we'll go back onto our um, brim pre fish. We got no whiting in the main river, did we? Only brim. I bet you tomorrow I'll be opposite. Now that tide's starting to turn and run out now, so it's time to move on, but I'm all waiting. One more. Oh, 
often say it's like harvesting fishing with blades, but it is. Like, see how well I've shot that lure. I work back to the boat. I know that bit's covered. And I can work this section, move the boat up, work the next section. I think we've passed them all. Last two casts haven't had a bite. I'm gonna have a uh, drink and a sandwich, I think. I haven't gone far into it really, I should just punch it up. Just give it another three, four cars, and then we'll roll out, go somewhere else. The other tip here with the with the blades is, see how I've got that foot constantly on the lecky. You can really cover water. Work that back that way. I've cast right up to here, so. Might as well motor the electric motor up to where I've cast. Oh, hear that. Stop. Fish the next run up. Two goes. Are you on, eh? Oh, so am I. Oh, that feels alright. This could wake up. Wake up, wake up, wake up. <laughs> you got a little brim, I don't know. I could have another big wide. I could have finally found a decent brim in this flat. He's trying to shake off. And this is where, it's, this is where once again, this style of rod works for me because, see how forgiving it is, how it just keeps loading up. Eventually this fish will just wear out from bouncing off the rod. No big runs. I'd say if he is a bream, he's only just a barely legal. But if he's a whiting, he's a nice one. Oh no, he's a nice bream. Yeah. thought that there was a there's a little spot here that myself and Andy Parkinson's been fishing for years and years and years and when the whiting and flathead are down there there's usually some good brim so he's just dogging me I'm just gonna I've got to take my time with him because if he if he does a big charge he'll just pop that little blade so I'm letting the rod do the work I'm only holding it one hand he's a half decent brim not what we want but I won't whinge about it. It's just a patience thing. He's, he's absolutely buggered. I could just pull him in now, but taking no chance. See how you're spitting up food then, Wayne? He's only spit something else, or he's spit the blade. Yeah. No, it's all white food. <laughs> yeah, that's the rot. That's alright. He's alright. Jeez, he's milky. He's only just come in, hasn't he? Now, that's the only reason I wanted to come up here. And another thing I noticed straight away is Jizzy's got really sharp teeth. So to me that means that they're due, he's due for a, uh, a toothbrush, which means they're going to definitely be feeding on the bridges and rocks. So, so put that one in the wall. 28 and a half. Fat though. 29 and a half. Yeah. Oh well then we did go onto the whiting tangent for a while. So. Nice. Oh, see that. See all the mullet? Um, jump and then every so often you see a bait spray. Yep, I'm on. Oh, I dropped him. That was loading up. I think you're on your way out. 
Yeah, they're on their way out for sure. Yeah, there's another one. Oh, two, two off top. They're loading up, they're legals. Come on. I wonder what it is about this stick here. Little guys chasing. They're definitely feeding off the bottom on me. Every single strike. Yeah, on the bottom. Right at the boat there. Oh, back there. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. They must be coming through in schools because you know you get that oh 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 it could be two three fish whacking you so it allows you to fish a little bit quicker than you want to to draw that strike and then slow then slow down for that hook up like that shaking Shake him on. Can't get over it. I've been wearing jumpers and trackies lately and Nilly was gonna Oh no, I'm on. Nilly was gonna go and buy a new pair of shoes. Some socks. That's how I had that slippers this morning, but now it feels like summer again. What's going on? He's just swimming in with me. No, neither's mine. Oh, he just hasn't woken up yet. No, another whitey. Oh, we're back onto the whiting again. On the whiting again. Hey. See, now we're in real shallow water, so if he dogs me underneath, I'll just drop my rod down. You know, keep him on the bottom. Why are you spinning? Ah! Oh. Yep, still got my blade, that's cool. Why were you spinning around? What he did to my blade. Got that one. Did the same. Ah, stupid little flathead. Who told you you could play? Well, you know the rules. It's the start and end of the day is our flathead. So I'd say we've. Like we went whiting, 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 whiting. We're going half decent brim, whiting, flooded. So that's it, that's the run. Wasn't a very good productive brim run, but it was definitely, that's how the food chain here works. And now we're in the autumn, we should have the odd Trevally turn up into the mix. That really makes it fun. I know where I want to go. I'm thinking, let's go hit Putney. Out of curiosity. Uh, no, we'll go to Onco. Hey, drag, loose drag. I just said the Wayne should be between the chair and that marker and I cast out and I was on. Another flathead I think, the way he's carrying on. It could be whiting. Papers, rock, scissors. It could be a brim. I think it's a whiting now. Only because it's silver and it's long. And it's, it's a whiting. <laughs> Oh, 
pumpers, mate. They're so angry on the on the little blades. Waiting. Said some of the blue water boys have ever thought about bridling up one of these guys. I reckon they'll catch big kingies. Ready. Brad, you're gonna come in and say hello to Wayne. He might have a treat for you anyway. Okay? You want another one? You know, do you want another one? Chase your bushy tail, I'll give you one. Every morning he chases his bushy tail, but no one's ever seen it but me, because he doesn't do it in front of other people. Where's Sally? 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 Sally, come on. Uh -uh. Sit. sit, Fred. Sit. Uh -huh. sit. 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 Wow, you gotta watch your fingers. <laughs> yeah, I, was say, I don't know if it's better getting just plain bit by him or getting bit while you're feeding. <laughs>